in today's episode be ready to climb over 200 stairs to reach and experience the temple in the caves we're here at Batu Caves let's go up situated just a short distance from the vibrant city of KL we book a grab and the journey takes about 45 minutes without any traffic jam and it costs us less than 30 ringgit including toll charges Batu Caves is also easily accessible by KTM train or commuter train just board the KTM and alight at Batu Caves station and you will find your destination just a brief 5 minute stroll from there to note KTM train departure and arrival is not guaranteed and is subject to delay and cancellation right in front of the temple entrance guests are also more than welcome to participate in the bird feeding activity planned out by the locals one of the most prominent and unique trademarks of Batu Cave has to be the golden statue of the Hindu god Lord Murugan which stands proud and tall at the foot of the stairs stretching over 140 feet in height this outstanding sculpture is a symbol of the Hindu temple in the caves. Batu Caves, famously known for its colorful stairs with 272 steps to be exact and a beautiful Hindu temple. A note of caution, be prepared to encounter troops of monkeys as you enter the area so look out for your personal belongings Still fighting Finish the stairs up. Basking in the beauty of the cave, you will get to enjoy everything from the authentic beauty of its surrounding limestone to the impressive architecture of the temple and its statues. Over 400 million years old, these limestone were organically formed creating what is famously known as Batu Caves today. The temple, which is nested in the heart of the cave, was built in the year 1920. For over a century now, Hindus from all over have come together during festival to celebrate and pray as a community. From its magnificently built shrines and statues set against a captivating background of limestone hills, Batu Cave is definitely a sight to behold and a destination not to be missed. The ideal time to visit is during the festival of Taipusam. During this time, you will have a chance 
to witness thousands of Hindus coming together to pray and perform religious ceremonies to commemorate the occasion and be drawn to the joyous celebration from the vibrant music to the thrilling atmosphere that the people collectively bring. Alternatively, if you want to avoid the bustling crowds during Taipusam, make your way down to Batu Caves before 8 a.m. on any day, as in the quiet mornings, visitors will be able to enjoy and appreciate the beauty and the atmosphere that Batu Caves hold. That's how they transport goods. Let's explore one of the temples beside the main entrance. Remember to remove all your footwear before entering any temple and be respectful.
other than the famous temple, Batu Cave is also home to many other attractions that you can explore. Cave Villa, which sits at the foot of the hill, takes you through a koi pond as well as a water garden on its race walkway. You can also enjoy the hourly dance performances, statues and shrines that are dedicated to the Hindu deities. Situated on the furthest left hand side, the Ramanya Cave is famously known for its psychedelic dioramas. We are coming to the end of this episode. Thank you for joining me here. Stay tuned for my next episode. On the next episode. Yes, it's gonna be the eat episode in KL. So what to eat for breakfast, lunch and dinner. How much can you eat and drink? See you on my next episode. Bye.